What we're looking at is one of the most concentrated forms of energy that exists on planet Earth. It's the bridge to the future. This is gas hydrate. When we run out of conventional oil and gas, this is going to power the planet. This gas hydrate is frozen methane bonded with water. It abounds on the moons of Jupiter. Scientists now estimate that the Earth holds more reserves of gas hydrates than coal, oil or gas put together. The trick is finding them. The seabed in the Gulf of Mexico is riddled with small fault lines. It's through these fissures that gas seeps from the Earth's crust. Oh, there's the, here's the gas bubbles, look. See those bubbles going up? Okay, we've got an active uh, gas vent. The methane is produced by decaying organic matter below the Earth's crust. This gas is a product from the age of the dinosaurs. If Dr. Sasson can collect the methane bubbles, they may turn into gas hydrate. Trapped at a pressure 83 times greater than that on the surface, and at a temperature a few degrees above freezing, the gas transforms into a crystalline substance, pure gas hydrate. Where there's a vent, outcrops of gas hydrate must be nearby. Oh, there's some rocks. There's some carbonate rocks. See that? See those white things? That's what we're looking at. There's a huge chunk of gas hydrate. This turned out to be the largest concentration of gas hydrate ever found on Earth. The seabed provides the ideal conditions for a chemical reaction. Hydrates are chemical elements bonded to water molecules. At this depth, the methane is compressed 160 times smaller than it would be at the surface. The gas hydrate located on this dive alone could power a medium-sized city for a year, if it can be harvested. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. In the Gulf of Mexico, there could be enough energy to power the entire United States for 2,000 years. Finding rich deposits is just the first step on a long road. Scientists must learn how to extract gas hydrates without harming marine life. And there's another hitch with this seemingly rich source of energy. Like all fossil fuels, hydrates emit greenhouse gases when burned.